In this video, we show you how to connect and configure the AirZone Toshiba Communication Gateway. The gateway is made up of three elements. A connector for the AirZone system's main control board and a fixing post. A configuration micro switch. A connector for the Toshiba AC unit. Turn off the power to both your AirZone system and your Toshiba AC unit before making the connections. Connect the gateway to the AC unit port on the AirZone main control board and secure it using the fixing post supplied. Then, connect the R1, R2 port on the gateway to the A, B port on the Toshiba AC unit using a two-wire shielded cable. Make sure you respect the polarity of the wires. To ensure the proper operation of the communication gateway, do not disconnect the Toshiba thermostat from the AC unit. Once all the connections are successfully made, configure the micro switch if necessary. Finally, it's time to power up the AirZone system and the Toshiba AC unit. Check all the status LEDs on the gateway to verify correct operation. Power supply LED. Microprocessor activity LED. Communication LEDs, gateway, system. Communication LEDs, gateway, AC unit. Once the AirZone system is configured, select any operating mode other than stop to generate demand in a zone and check that the Toshiba controller receives the commands from the AirZone system. Finally, check that the static pressure in the ducted AC unit is in accordance with the conditions of the airflow distribution network in which it is installed. See the manufacturer's manual for the AC unit if you need to modify this parameter.